Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in this video is help educate you about productivity tools and resources to help you move forward with your productivity. What I want to do in this video is actually go over some of the favorite tools and resources that I found over the last month and obviously this is called the May favorites but it does span halfway into June. So I'm going to break my May favorites into three key areas, tech, product hunt, and then books. So let's start with tech. So the first thing in tech is Google Keep. And although everyone knows what Google Keep is, it's a service very similar to Evernote, uh, very similar to Evernote plus Apple Notes, where you can kind of write down um, all of your notes as you go across your day, set reminders, that sort of thing. Um, I found a lot more functionality in it, especially with the web, ed, uh, web Clipper, which I'll link in the description. I think Google Keep are doing a great job at maintaining a really strong but simple service. Um, so I definitely recommend checking that out and I'll include it in the link in the description. Another thing I'm quite impressed by is Revu, and I can't really say that right, R-E-V-U-E, -E, Revu, I think it's called that. Anyway, Revu is an email service, very similar to kind of MailChimp, but it, it's creating a, a daily digest or a weekly digest, however many you like. So it's a very light version of MailChimp, if that's a kind of comparison. I'm really enjoying this service. I'm using it for my own personal mail out list. Um, I find it really simple to use easy to send uh, quick mail outs to uh, all of my audience. One thing I've been using quite heavily in the last month is an application called Grid Diary, Grid Diary. And Grid Diary is basically a, it's a tool where you can add questions uh, into a kind of grid shape. And every morning or every evening, whenever you like, uh, you can answer those questions. It's very similar to a journal. So the questions uh, outline there and you can imp input your answer um, and basically keep track of your your kind of habits or your anything really. The, the templates are so open. I'll show you a quick demo of what this looks like. I'm really impressed by Grid Diary. It, it's actually really great in the free mode. Um, they have a premium mode. I'm yet to check it out, but I'm really impressed by this app. I wake up every morning. I spend five minutes doing Grid Diary uh, just to get clear on what my day is. And then I do five minutes in the evening. And it's kind of helped me feel like I've accomplished more in my day because I'm, I'm quantifying what I'm actually doing. So Calendars 5 is something that I've been using for the last month. Sunrise did announce a couple of weeks ago that in late August, they will be shutting down the service. So I quickly aimed to try and find a solution and Riedel's Calendar 5, Calendars 5 was a great application for this. Um, what I want to do is actually want to do a specific review on Calendars 5, because I think it's one of the best calendar apps I've ever used. I want to credit Todoist in this video. Um, for those who don't know, I use Todoist as a daily driver for my tasks. I'm really impressed. Um, over the last month, I've been using offline more than ever, and I'm really impressed by the offline functionality. This has been something that I continually struggle, struggle with, especially with a four gigabyte contract on my phone, uh, which means that I don't get much data. So I'm always having to push for offline. Really impressive. So Todoist, thank you very much for making such a great web offline service and also an iOS offline service. Those are the two ones I use every day. Really impressed. Another thing in tech is something that I've started to use a little bit called Sweatcoin. Um, and I use it in the background. Um, basically, it's an app from uh, someone we brought in for the Entrepreneur Society last year called Oleg Fomenko. Sweatcoin allows you to kind of keep track of all of your uh, steps for the day, but it converts steps into coins or points. You can start spending them on different things. It gamifies the whole experience of obviously walking and moving around using your kind of, uh, I think it's accelerometer and also your GPS to monitor exactly so that you're not kind of sat at home shaking it about. The one thing that I'm impressed by is a leader board system on it. It's got really strong leaderboards so that you can actually uh, really go into detail uh, against other people in the world. Uh, I think it's got some huge potential, so definitely worth checking out. I'll include that link in the description as well. So time to move to Product Hunt. So on Product Hunt this month, I've actually uh, discovered a few things, some really great stuff. Uh, Microsoft announced that they are basically creating a Trello competitor. It's called Microsoft Planner, um, and it looks very um, similar to Trello. At the 
that kind of board system, as well as the ability to comment with other people. I'm not sure it will kick off. Uh, this might be a poor prediction, but I think a lot of the times when they create some really niche service inside of uh, Office, it kind of flops. Maybe that's because I'm super bitter about Sunrise and about how Microsoft have used that, but I just don't think it will work. Um, I think unless they uh, pick like 50 companies that like Virgin Media or things like that that are going to be using it from day one, I don't think it's going to kick off. Pebble also announced three new devices, which I thought were pretty impressive. Um, I won't go into too much detail, but they've actually released a running uh, a tool as well so that it uses no screen, but it tracks and all of your sport and health and activities, um, but also streams Spotify, um, I'm guessing from your cellular network, which is quite cool. I'm proud, so the application Proud that I've reviewed before on iOS, I'll include that up there if you haven't watched it. Um, they've released a Mac application. Uh, the Mac application is very great. I'll include the video in the link in the description so you can watch it. Proud is essentially a task manager, but it's a very clear and very uh, beautiful task manager, so definitely recommend checking that out for anyone with a Mac. And finally, an application that I found Although I wouldn't use it at the moment because as I'm in transition with my email, so I'm trying to find the best email application, it's an application called Morning Mail. And Morning Mail is basically a really beautiful application that allows you to scroll through your email in a really simplistic way. Definitely recommend checking it out. It's free on iOS. Go have a look. It's very beautiful and might really get you into that kind of emailing spirit. Okay, so let's move on to books finally. I'm reading two books at the moment, uh, about that much of it so far. Uh, it's by Ari Ari Ariana Huffington. It's called Thrive. I'm really impressed by it so far. It's kind of about um, fatigue and sleep deprivation that she had uh, during the period of time that she was work started working for Huffington Post. Obviously, she created Huffington Post. She was a working 18 hours days and she fell over and actu actually hurt herself, uh, hurt her cheek or something. She fell on something because of sleep deprivation. It, it's quite interesting so far. Obviously, there's a lot of topic about the kind of mindset and, and, uh, and abilities to sleep and things like that. So it's a hot topic at the moment. I want to read more of it because obviously, based on this book, I'm starting to kind of feel like sleep is something I need to focus my attention on in the next couple of weeks. The book I'm reading is called Sprint. I haven't got it on me because I've actually left it at work, but essentially Sprint is a book about how you can get from um, one part of a project to the end of the project in five, uh, five days, working days. So it's a book written by Googlers who have come into companies and basically um, taken an idea that a company's had or a new product line or anything like that sprinted it, which means just sped everything up and done a test on the fifth day. Uh, the book goes into detail on how this is done um, and how to implement sprints in your startups or your businesses. So I'm going to read it. I'm really enjoying it so far. It, it really goes into detail. Uh, there was an example of a robot that they did it, a, an experiment with that delivered stuff in hotels uh, and they did a sprint for that and apparently it worked really, really well. So. That's one of the case studies. I wanna hear some more of the case studies. Really impressive so far. So apart from that, um, I'm going to be moving back to Plymouth uh, soon. So I will have the ability to kind of spend a bit more time doing these sorts of videos. Um, I've been up and about, uh, spending a lot of time in cafes doing work. So I haven't had the time to make these sorts of videos. I'm really looking forward to doing some more of these because I kind of like talking to the camera, which sounds weird, but. I like talking about some of the stuff I found because obviously if you follow me on Twitter, I kind of shout it out as much as I can, but I like kind of recommending stuff to you guys that I've discovered. Get a lot of emails about uh, recommendations um, and also a lot of emails about checking out tools. So I think that's quite important. Anyway, guys, that's uh, today's video. Um, I hopefully it's going to do a June favorites as well. So stay tuned to the channel. If you like this, please do subscribe like it and also comment uh, with some of the recommendations you've found over the last month. Really love to hear. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.